This video is on optics of the human eye. So as you already know, uh, light rays comes into the eye and gets refracted to the retina. And that's how we see. So there's Snell's law that comes to effect. So it gets refracted by Snell's law. And in real life, it's actually very complicated because Snell's law acts over here at the cornea. The cornea acts as a refractive surface. So you have to apply Snell's, Snell's law between the interface of air and the cornea. You have to apply Snell's law between the interface between the cornea and the aqueous, and then the aqueous and the lens, and the lens and the so, uh, and vitreous body. So you have to do Snell's law on all of these structures, which can be pretty complicated because there's multiple refracted surfaces. So, like other things in physics, in optics, we can simplify this. And we can simplify it to some call a reduced eye. Right? In, in the reduced eye, the refracted surface is just simplified into one surface right here. And this one surface, one spherical refracting surface, is 60 diopters, 60. The index refraction of inside the eye, we estimated it as 1.333 as the index refraction of the entire eye. In real life, in real life, the index of refraction is different. The index refraction of the vitreous body is different from the lens, different from the aqueous, and different from the cornea. But this is just a simplification, so the index refraction here, we just make it 1.333, which is actually a very close approximation of the index refraction of all these structures. The index refraction over here is just 1 for air, because over here we're outside the eye, and we're in air. So this is called reduced eye, and generically, the reduced eye is about 22 millimeters long. So again, we have a refracted surface here, which is 60 diopters. Index refraction inside the eye is 1.333, and the length of the eye is about 22 mil millimeters. So in myopia, in myopia, what happens is that the light rays gets refracted on the refractive surface and it falls to a focal point, to a uh, secondary focal point here before the retina, before the retina. So it's not on the retina. This is a emetropic eye where you have no prescription, zero prescription, and the light focuses on the focal point is right on the retina. In myopia, is focused right here, not on the retina, so you experience blur. In this case, what happens here is the eye is actually longer. So generically, it should be around 22 millimeters, but in this case, in the myopic eye, the eye is 23 millimeters, a little bit longer. And since it's a little bit longer, the focal point falls over here. This is the focal point of the 60 diopter lens right here. It's at 22 millimeters, but the eye itself is so long that it the, the, the focal point does not fall on the retina. So myopia can happen for two reasons. You can be myopic for two reasons. Your eye is longer, like this case. This case, the eye is longer, or the refractive surface can be stronger or both, a combination of both. So in this case, the eye is longer, but the refractive surface is still at 60, still at 60. So you can actually calculate a person's eyeglass prescription from this model, from this reduced eye. So what you do is simply, you have to find out the power needed over here to put the focal point on the retina. How do you do that? Well, it's uh, pretty simple. So the power D in diopters needed is the index of refraction 
divided by the radius. So let me just move over here a little bit. So in this case, the radius of the eye is longer. The radius is 23.22 millimeters. So that goes in the bottom. Let me write that down. Equals radius is, you have to do it in meters. So 23.22 millimeters is 0 0.02322 meters. Always convert it to meters. And N is just the index of refraction. In this case, index of refraction is 1.333. And you put that over here, 1.3 to put that on top. 1.333. I'm just going to move to the right. Then you just go ahead and solve it. Then you get 57.40 diopters. Diopters. So this is the power of the cornea that is needed to put the focal point on the retina. So in this case, you have 60, but you need 57.40 uh, diopters. So that means that you need an eyeglass prescription of minus, minus 2.60 diopters. So in order to get in order to get this to 57.40, you need an eyeglass prescription. So let me put in the eyeglass prescription right here. This is a representation of a minus lens. So you need to put an eyeglass prescription or a, a, a lens prescription right next to the cornea of a prescription of minus 2.0. 60 diopters and once you give them this prescription then the focal point falls directly on the retina so here is a representation of that uh, this is they have here in my textbook of 2.59 which is close enough to 2.60 it's just rounding off uh, I round off a little differently so if you could put an eyeglass prescription right on the cornea here of minus 2.59, then you have the focal point falling onto the retina. So let's just review. So when you have a longer eye, the eye is 23 millimeters instead of 22, then you need a different power on the cornea. You need 57.41 diopters. However, you have 60 diopters. So that means you need to take away 2.59 in order to get 57.41. And this amount that you take away is your prescription. A prescription, your contact lens prescription. Right? So that's how you calculate someone's eyeglass prescription or contact lens prescription on the cornea. Now, when this number is less than 4, the contact lens prescription and the eyeglass prescription is the same. If this number is greater than 4, then the eyeglass prescription and the contact lens prescription is different because the contact lenses are directly on the cornea, but eyeglasses are not. Eyeglasses are worn about 14 millimeters over here, you know, in front of the cornea. So I'll get into that a little bit later in my other videos. Uh, in my next video, I'll show you how to do calculations involving hyperopic, hyperopia. Okay, hopefully this video helps you.